Hi there, welcome back. The purpose of this video is to show you how simple and easy it will be for you to design and format your articles, news, blog posts, product pages and any other web pages without even writing a single line of code. So for example, if I wanted to create and publish new article on my public website, I would simply go to my content items manager and click new action button. As you can see here on this page, you can easily set title of your articles, blog posts, news or other pages. You can either manually type in your desired title or you can simply copy and paste any text from any other text formatting software. And the same goes for body text of your items. In this case, I will simply copy and paste this text here. Of course, you can easily format your text and insert images, tables, flash animations, web links and other HTML elements using your default editor. This editor here is default editor of your website and you can also easily install new editors into your website and set one of them as the, your default one. There are many useful editors also available on the internet which you can freely download and install in your website. Some of them come with very useful features that will make your work even easier so you will definitely want to try at least one of them. Next step is to assign your content item to one of existing content sections and categories. In simple words, sections and categories allow you to easily organize and group related pages into sections and categories. The final step is to set publishing settings and a few other settings to your content item. And when you're done, you can either click save or apply. The difference between save or apply buttons is in fact that when you hit save, your changes, changes will be saved and you will be returned to your manager. While on the other side, when you click apply button, your changes will be saved as well, but you won't leave this page. So you can edit it further. So, for example, let me publish this content item on the front page of my public website. I will hit apply because I don't want to leave this page. Once changes are saved, I simply go back to my public website and hit refresh button. And as you will see, my new content item has appeared on my front page of my public website. Editing settings of your existing items is even easier. Simply click any item which you would like to edit and you are back on this page where you can edit design and format, title, body text, settings and other parameters of your existing item. This is the end of this video. As you have realized, editing your existing items, creating new ones, designing them, formatting them, publishing them on your public website is as easy as sending an email to your best friend. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon.